Hi folks, welcome to my module 1 lecture 2 on the video series on introduction to data structures in C. Today we are going to type a, talk about data types, constants and variables. So what are data types? Data types are some of the most powerful features that one has to know if one has to basically get a strong hold on any given programming language. Similarly to that of keyword which defines the functionality, Data types determine the way in which information can be stored in a computer for using a given programming language. C has a very wide range of data types that can be, that can be programmed or supported. Data types can later be used in association with a variable or a constant. These variable and constants are later used in functions in order to crunch or manipulate data. C supports three primary type three uh, C basically supports three type of data data types the primary data type the derived data type and the user defined data type in C we have basically five primary data types the int which stands for integer data type the char which stands for character data type float stands for floating point data type or decimal numbers double is also a decimal number but with greater precisions and then we have void or the null data type in C we have four type modifiers long short signed and unsigned these type modifiers can be associated with the five primary data type in order to get the derived data type say for example the short modifier can be used with int to get a short int unsigned with an unsigned int and so on character can be signed or unsigned and double can be a long double c has a wide range of user defined data types character uh, character sorry arrays structures enumerators or enums and unions are some of the user defined data types that are built in into the c the given chart basically summarizes the type of primitive data type or primary data type, derived data type and user defined data type that are readily available in C. Okay, so let's look into the memory allotment or memory uh, usage of each of these data type. A short int takes two bytes which means to show that it can store numbers from minus 32768 to plus 32767 an unsigned short also takes two bytes which means to say that it can store numbers from 0 to 65535 a character takes one byte and can store a number from minus 128 to plus 127 whereas an unsigned character also takes a byte and can store information from 0 to 255 similarly float takes 4 and double takes 8 and a long double takes 16 bytes of data so each data type has an associated type or number of bytes which gets associated with it in order to store information having said this make a note that c is very close to the hardware and the size of my bytes allotted for the data type is compiler dependent. So basically if you are compiling a code for 32 bit machine, a different size of data might be available for an integer as when compared to when you are compiling it for a 16 bit machine. So if you are using a C code and targeting it for a 16 bit microprocessor or a microcontroller, the size allotted for say int might not be 4 but two datas or two de two bytes okay so c compiler basically determines the number of bytes allotted for a data type depending on the target 
or the so target hardware that you are planning to run this code on. Having said data types, data types are associated with variables and constants. So what are variables and constants? Variables and constants are a part of a memory or a memory block where information of a particular data type gets stored. Variable and constants are both identifiers as we had discussed in the last lecture. Variable is an identifier or a memory block where an information can be stored and can be modified in the code at a later stage. Whereas constants are also a memory block in the memory which also get assigned to a value but which cannot be modified in the later part of the C code. So constants have to be initialized as and when they are declared and cannot be later on changed in any part of the code. Let us see the format of variable declaration. So any variable declaration in C follows this particular format. The variable name has to be initially associated with the data type so that enough memory gets allotted for this name so as to store the information in a particular format. Here are some of the examples in which variables are declared. We can have int num where num is the name of the variable of type integer hence 4 byte gets allocated to it. Float percentage so percentage is the name of the variable of float type so 4 bytes get assigned to it. Character grade so grade is the name of the variable of type character so 1 bytes get assigned to the name grade. Long int so long int amount so long int is the data type mind you the int variable or the int data type is getting modified by the type modifier long so this is one of the derived data type and the name of the variable which is associated with this data type is amount so amount is the name of the variable of type long int so 8 bytes uh, i think 8 bytes get associated Similarly, whenever a variable is declared, it also can be initialized. Say for example, I have a variable called as num of type int. So you can basically declare a variable and later on initialize it or associate a information or store an information or a number into this variable. So Creating of the variable by giving it a name is called as declaration and giving a value to a variable is called as initialization. So that's all for now folks. Stay with me for my next lecture. Thank you.